In this GeoMap app tutorial on available data, we'll examine the portal interface for the digital, multi-channel and single-channel seismic reflection data. In this next example of data portals, we'll look at multi-channel and single-channel seismic reflection profiles. For this, we select the Digital Seismic Reflection Profiles menu item, and when we click on this item, the customized interface for this data portal will be loaded. Please note that depending on the speed of your machine, it might take a few seconds for the portal to appear. The structure of the GeoMap app window has changed as follows. In the map window, the boxes show areas for which we have seismic reflection profiles. In this case, the pane at the right indicates that the rectangles in the map window cover areas for which Lamont and UTIG MCS lines are available. If we click on the USGS multi-channel seismics option here, the new set of rectangles shows areas for which we have USGS MCS lines, and similarly if we choose the USGS single channel option here, these rectangles reveal where the SCS lines occur. For now, let's go back to the Le Mans and UTIG MCS lines. In order to see the actual location of the profiles, we need to select one of the rectangles by clicking the rectangle in the map window. Let's choose this one across the Alaska Aleutian Trench. By clicking once in this rectangle, GeoMap app automatically zooms in and displays the actual survey lines available. In order to view one of the profiles, we need to select it in the map window by clicking once on the profile with the cursor, like this. And in this case, we see over in the right pane that we're looking at a Ewing leg 9409, and the MCS line that we selected is line 1232. The MCS profile is viewed by clicking the Load View 1 button here, and the profile is loaded in the lower left. Let's make this lower left pane a little bit wider by going here and sliding the line that way. And we'll scroll downwards to find the profile. In the map window, the yellow portion of the survey line shows that this MCS line has been loaded, and the red portion shows the extent of the profile displayed in the pane here. We can zoom in by selecting the zoom tool here and clicking on the profile to the desired zoom level, like this. By zooming in we see that the red portion of the track line shown in the map window is a lot smaller because we're looking at a smaller section of the line. The scroll bars at the bottom and the right of the profile window are used to scroll through the profile. As the cursor is moved around in the window that shows the seismic section, note that in the upper right corner of the GeoMap app window, the two-way travel time in seconds and the common midpoint number at the exact location of the cursor are listed. This allows us to quickly identify points on the seismic section. For example, when we move the cursor onto the flat line reflectors at the base of the trench, we see in the upper right corner of the GeoMap app window that this corresponds to a two-way travel time of 9.568 seconds, and in this particular locality is at CMP number 8603. In the toolbar, the arrow buttons at the left allow the profile to be compressed and expanded, like this. The black square will switch to inverse video, and the two arrows here will flip the orientation of the profile. In order to save either the image or the data for this profile, we click the diskette symbol here and we see a range of options available for downloading or saving the data. This button in the middle of the toolbar allows seismic reflectors to be digitized. 
and please see the tutorial on digitization for more details on this. The digitized points are saved by clicking on the diskette symbol here. The text tool here allows annotations to be added to the image below, and we've already seen how the zoom buttons here can be used to zoom in and out of the display. In this portal, a second seismic reflection profile can be viewed at the same time as the first one. To do this, we select another seismic line in the map window. Let's choose this one. And we see that this is line 1234. And we hit the Load View 2 button to bring up the profile in the lower right pane here. The buttons in the toolbar in this pane act in just the same way as already described. For example, let's zoom in and switch to the inverse video display. We can display these two sections one above the other by selecting the vertical display option here. Since the new orientation of the display is compressed vertically, we'll go up here and select the detached table option and by changing the size of the detached table, we can make the two profiles visible once more. Like this. To reattach the table to the GeoMap app window, we select the Attach Table button up here, and we can revert to the horizontal view. And finally, to choose other profiles to display, we can get rid of the ones we're already viewing and select another profile either by clicking on the section in the map window or by going to the menus here and choosing another line. More information on GeoMapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.